Hi guys, this is the Biokid here. It's been so long since I last made a video on any topic, but guess what? I am back and today we will talk about gene cloning, which is uh, a recombinant DNA technology. Now coming into the introduction, let's first talk about the term gene cloning. It consists of two terms. First, the gene which means uh, which is actually a segment of the DNA that uh, codes for a particular protein and uh, the term cloning which means to clone or to make exact copies so uh, gene cloning is uh, about making the exact copies of a sequence of a DNA that produces a protein this technique uses uh, DNA segments from two different sources sometimes two different plant or animal species one is the target DNA and the other is called a vector now the recombinant DNA technology developed from uh, discoveries of uh, bacterial extra chromosomal DNA or we call it uh, plasmids however it is to be noted that it wouldn't have been possible without the availability of restriction enzymes so restriction enzymes play an important role in uh, gene cloning so guys if you are still watching this video click on the subscribe button it will be an immense help for me and uh, it will motivate me to further make videos on some of the interesting topics on biology So now let's come to the steps that are involved in gene cloning. The first step in gene cloning involves fragmentation and ligation. The second step is transformation and selection. And uh, the third one, which is sometimes not necessary, is uh, the production of protein. We will discuss the steps one by one in detail later on in this video so here is a figure showing how gene cloning is done on the top left on the figure you no know, here there is the source DNA which is cleaved with restriction enzyme so when we cleave it we get this which is our target DNA it is inserted into a cloning vector so this is the cloning vector which is a plasmid which is also treated with the same restriction enzyme now it can uh, now it makes a DNA construct so the DNA construct with the target DNA is then introduced into a host cell so the host cell is typically a bacterial cell these cells are then uh, these cells you know what it does it carries the construct uh, and are identified the cells carrying the construct if the cells take up then these cells are identified and grown now if requirement arises then the clone cell uh, can be expressed in the host cell and uh, the protein from the target DNA can be harvested or what should we say it can be collected so let's go into detail the first step which is fragmentation and ligation so fragmentation which means breaking apart a strand of DNA and ligation which means gluing together or sticking together the pieces of DNA in a particular sequence now for both these purposes particular enzymes are required for cutting the DNA into pieces restriction enzymes are used restriction enzymes are a class of enzymes that recognizes a particular sequence in the DNA and cleaves it now for example we have an, a, a restriction enzyme known as BAMH1 so it recognizes a sequence that is GGA TCC 
So wherever there is a GGA TCC sequence in the DNA, it recognizes that sequence and cleaves it. Now after fragmentation, uh, the desi des desired gene is thus separated and uh, then integrated with the plasmid or the vector which is also previously treated with the same restriction enzyme. The integration or ligation of the vector and the target gene is carried out by enzyme DNA ligase. Now after integration the vector can be called recombinant plasmid. Transformation and selection the next step after fragmentation and ligation is transformation and selection. After the recombinant plasmid is constructed, it needs to be introduced into a host cell, which is a bacterial cell, mostly it is E. coli, and this process is called transformation. The bacterial cells are made competent and then exposed to a heat shock at about 42 degrees centigrade. Uh, it what it does is that it makes the cells take up the plasmid now uh, here's a figure that shows uh, the selection of bacteria now to select the bacteria that has successfully taken up the recombinant plasmid the cells are grown in nutrient medium that contains a particular m antibiotic so here we can see this is the plasmid it you know it is the bacteria this is this has taken up the plasmid and it is grown in a, a medium that contains a particular antibiotic so those bacterial cells will survive only those only those cells will survive which carries the plasmid because in the plasmid there is the antibiotic resistance gene so because in the plasmid there is an antibiotic resistance gene the cells that contain the plasmid will survive in the medium and it will reproduce forming bacterial colonies the cells that do not contain the plasmid will die So next up is the production of the desired protein. The surviving colonies of the bacteria contains the recombinant plasmid in which there is our target gene. Now what we do now is uh, give the bacteria a kind of a certain chemical signal that induces them to transcribe and translate the target gene into some kind of protein which is our target protein as in the bacteria there are also a large number of other proteins produced so uh, our uh, ta target protein needs to be separated from those or simply purified the purified protein can now be used for various medical or what we can say other experimental purposes now applications of gene cloning so first up, this technique can be used for pest resistance. It allows us to uh, recruit pest resistance genes from uh, wild plants and uh, transfer them into domestic crops. So as a result, the crops become pest resistant. Again, gene cloning can also be used for gene therapy. This focuses on uh, the introduction of some kind of genetic material into cells to compensate for abnormal or mutated genes that produces some faulty proteins in our body. Now there are other applications such as uh, identification of genes in, a gene zo in genome sequencing and also to determine the function of an unknown gene and uh, many more. So that's it for today guys. See you in my next video which will shortly arrive and uh, don't forget to hit the like button and show me some support. Thank you.